Michael Cohen here with the latest in New Jersey Jackal highlights. Jackals taking on the Eagles in the final of a three-game series. R. Charles at the dish, bottom first inning, with Michael O'Neill second. Bloops this one in the center field for a base hit. O'Neill would come around and score, and the Jackals get their first run of the day. It is now a 2-1 ball game. Moving right along now into the second inning with two men aboard. Richard Stock at the plate, his first game in almost a month, and he says it's good to be back, folks, as the catcher hits a three-run home run to right field. Gives the Jackals a 4-2 lead. What a way to come back for Richard Stock. Three-run home run in his first at-bat since coming off the DL. A little later on, Devontra Richardson slaps this one to third. Nice play by Mershon, but he throws it away down the first baseline. As a result, a run comes in to score. It's now 5-2 New Jersey. A lot of errors in this game for the Eagles in this one. Now Johnny Bladell hits a little tapper to first base. Underneath the glove of Mateo, that's a base hit. Two runs will come in and score. Eagles still having trouble trying to field the baseball in the infield. It's now 7-2, favor of the New Jersey Jackals. And kind of the icing on the cake here as Corey Vaughn bloops this one in the center field. The shortstop can't get it. No one can get it. It's another base hit, and more runs come in for the Jackals as they would take a 10-2 lead. <clears throat> and then into the 10-2 lead at this point, they get one more run. Why not Richard Stock to add to it? With a little ground out, it would be a fielder's choice RBI. Stock would have five RBIs on the evening for the Jackals. Jackals close it out. Justin Brantley gets a little, high, little chopper back to him for the final out. Jackals win 10-5. They are now at 35-23, and right back in the thick of things for first place in the Can-Am League. Michael Cohen, talk to you next time.